In this video, we will show you some commonly used commands in Metafire. Metafire is a Dolby Vision metadata management and validation tool and is part of the Dolby Vision Professional Tools. To download these tools, please go to customer.dolby.com. Navigate to the Content Creation and Delivery page and select Dolby Vision Professional Tools. To download the software, please register first or sign in with your Dolby customer credentials. Once installed, open a command line, shell, or terminal application on your computer and navigate to the Dolby Vision Professional Tools installation directory. To execute any Dolby Vision Professional tool on Mac and Linux, use the command dot backslash, followed by the name of the application. If you are on Windows, navigate to the installation directory and run the respective tool, followed by the relevant command. To validate Dolby Vision metadata on Windows, run Metafia by typing metafia.exe-validate, followed by the path and name of the Dolby Vision metadata. On Mac and Linux, run the command dot backslash metafia dash dash validate. The source metadata can be in the form of a Dolby Vision XML file or the video track file of a Dolby Vision IMF package. In this example, we will validate metadata from a Dolby Vision IMF package. After validation, Metafia displays a validation report, which in this case has no alerts or errors. To add an additional check for positive lift values above 0.025 on letterbox content, simply add the command dash dash with dash lift followed by the metadata file. We will now validate metadata from a Dolby Vision XML file. Metafia has detected several shots that contain positive lift values in the L2 or L8 and lists those as warnings. These shots should be corrected under the supervision of the colorist. To extract Dolby Vision metadata from a Dolby Vision MXF video track file and save it as a standalone XML, use the command metafia e followed by the export location and XML file name, followed by the path and name of the MXF video track file. Metafia will now extract the metadata and save it as a standalone XML file. You can also change the frame rate of the Dolby Vision metadata using Metafy. This may be required if, for example, you want to deliver content that was originally mastered as 23976 FPS as 24 or 25 FPS version. Use the Metafy dash dash frame dash rate command followed by the new frame rate argument in the XML metadata file. Metafy will create a new XML file with the new frame rate and rename the original XML with the file suffix old. Please note that the frame rate of the Dolby Vision metadata must match the frame rate of the associated HDR video file. Whenever Metafire updates an existing Dolby Vision XML, it will create an entry in the revision history of the file. It will also save the updated file under the original file name and rename the original metadata file with the suffix old. To export a version 2.9 standalone metadata file from a version 4.0 XML file, use the metafia dash dash save dash version 2.0.5 command, followed by the version 4 XML file. Metafia will create a version 2.9 XML file and rename the original version 4 XML file with the file suffix old. To create a shot list from a Dolby Vision metadata file that lists all shots and their associated durations, use the metafia dash dash shot dash list dash duration command, followed by the export location and the name of the shot list text file, and the Dolby Vision metadata file. The exported shot list file will sequentially list the start frames and the respective durations for each shot in the metadata file.
For more information, simply use the Metafy-H command for easy on-screen instructions, or refer to the Dolby Vision Professional Tools user guide for detailed instructions and an overview on all commands and arguments. Follow this link to access the latest version of the user guide.